Shalom, brothers and sisters. You remember when I reported on Ben Gavir's last visit last week to Temple Mount and his comments about Israel and Jerusalem, and I said to you, as awesome as that news is and as interesting as it was, there's going to be a huge backlash coming very shortly and very soon just because he actually went to Temple Mount. And here is one of them. The United States condemns Ben Gavir visit to Temple Mount. Hamas threatens violent response. Outside of Israel, Ben Gavir's visit garnered harsh criticism from the United States Department, releasing a statement saying it was provocative. We are also concerned by today's provocative visit to the Temple Mount, Haram al-Sharif, in Jerusalem, and the accompanying inflammatory rhetoric by saying Israel and Jerusalem belongs to them and the Temple Mount. This is the State Department. This holy space should not be used for political purposes and we call on all parties to respect its sanctity. Who are they to even talk about anything holy? The United States stands firmly for the preservation of the status quo with respect to holy sites in Jerusalem. White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre said at the briefing, any unilateral action that jeopardizes the status quo is unacceptable. Jean-Pierre did not explain why a Jew visiting the Temple Mount jeopardizes the status quo. Or is it the minute you receive a powerful position in Israel, you're no longer allowed to go to your own holy site? Jordan, which has supervisory status at the Temple Mount, stated that Ben Gavir's visit breaches international law. How does that even work? Jordan's foreign ministry spokesperson, Sinan Al-Mayali, said the visit breaches international law and the historical and legal status quo of Jerusalem and its holy places, adding that it is a provocative step and a grave violation that leads to escalation. Amazing power Ben Gavir's got just by actually taking a stroll in his own country's own holy site he causes this much chaos for all these people jordan demanded that israel immediately cease all violations against the al-aqsa mosque and respect the sanctity the sanctity of a place that they use to store stones and all sorts of things that they can throw at people there's nothing holy or sanctity in that place abbas and the palestinian authority said the following we will not leave Al-Aqsa and the occupation will bear the responsibility for the barbaric invasion by its ministers and flocks of settlers. They're still calling the Jews settlers, even though it's their own country. The barbaric infiltration by the Zionist National Security Minister Itamar Ben Gavir, accompanied by extreme settlers into the courtyards, of the blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque this morning, Sunday, we are worried about the danger that faces the Al-Aqsa under this fascist Zionist government and the arrogance of its ministers from the extreme right. Since we see the criminal occupation is responsible for this barbaric attack, we call on our people in occupied Jerusalem, the West Bank, and on the inside to strengthen the connection with Al-Aqsa to travel to it and stand as an impenetrable fortress against attempts to defile and Judaize it. Again, Judaize a Jewish place with history older than their entire religion put together before Muhammad even got his first demonic possession message from the devil. Judaism was in that area. It's theirs. These people are so confused. It is crazy. And America just joining them in condemning Israel. Isn't there enough issues and problems at home in America already? You really want to reap some more judgment. <sighs> Can't wait for the trumpet to blow. God bless people. Keep praying for Israel and keep looking up. And we'll keep watching lest any Jew maybe stroll through his holy site and cause chaos for jittery people and leaders all over the world that are all confused, suffering from delusions. 
Shalom.